he, he, he sat with Abu Huraira, he transmitted not only from Abu Huraira, from many other companions, and wrote down about 1,000 hadith. Ibrahim al Nakhai, he died in 1996 uh, Hijra, and he made the collection, writing down, written down correction. So it's not a Zuhri that when Umar ibn Abdul Aziz asked Imam Zuri to start writing down. That's not true. There are many, many people with, write, wrote down from him, from Abu Hurairah and others. Aqaba bin Abu al-Hasan, Hasna. Bashir bin Nahik. Uh, I, I don't know, there are, there are so many lists of names I don't even know, so I don't, I'm not comfortable talking about something that I don't know. Now let's talk about Abu Musa al-Ashad, radiallahu ta'ala and Farda. We all know them. He died, he passed away 42 years after, after Hijrah. And we know his status. He is the most trust, one of the very humble, trustworthy companions. And there is a report that Abu Musa is not in favor of writing down. And the report went on to say that Abu Musa asked his students to erase them. In fact, all of this report are concocted. It's not correct. Because Abdullah ibn Abbas, we'll come back to Abdullah ibn Abbas in a moment, derived many narrations from Abu Musa in written form, written down. Abu Musa wrote some of the narrations and then he sent to Abdullah ibn Abbas in writing, in writing. So how could he be against the writing while he is writing himself? Again, that is being refuted. Now we're talking about very early on. These are the companions writing down. Abu Rafi died for 40 Hijrah before 40 Hijrah. Abdullah ibn Abbas used to go to Abu Rafi and ask him about the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam's deeds and his saying, saying in specific situation. Then he started writing, or he has somebody with him. That person is writing down the answers. So he will go and ask questions, and those answers were written down by Abdullah ibn Abbas. Abu Rafi gave him a book, booklet, a booklet, kitab, booklet described the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam way of, of beginning of the prayers, especially in Atkar, and written found, who? Abu Rafi. So now you say, no, it was written down at the time of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abu Sa'id Al-Khudri, we all know him. He lives quite some time, he died 74 years after Hijrah. And, and there is a false fake news or fake information that Abu Sa'id is one of those who is against the writing down of the Hadith. And he 
disagree with his students who wanted to make a written collection and he said no but that's again is you know that's to throw doubts on on the tradition because they know that once you take away the traditions of the messenger sallallahu you take away islam with it once abu said al qudri was informed about fatwa or some of the legal decision of ibn abbas which he thought was not in conform in 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 line with some of the narrations that he know so he he tell them that we shall write down she shall write to him so that he will not do this decision to others because ibn abbas do not did not know those traditions so i'm going to write down and send it to him so that he will not continue uh, giving his decision based on his ijtihad because the sunnah traditions take the precedence so this is abu sa'id al qudri how can it be abu sa'id al qudri against the writing while he wrote down narrations that abu ibn abbas do not know and he sent it to them in writing ibn abbas indeed radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the writer changes to this decision he said i received the tradition i go with the tradition so that's what it is the scholars traditions takes precedence to your personal uh, ijtihad there is a somebody by the name of abu shah Abu Shah comes from today where Yemen is. And he came to Mecca in 8th of Hijrah. When Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam liberated Mecca. And Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was he approached Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam give a kutbah he asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if i if he could write down what he heard from the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked somebody to write down for him he said write it for abu sha this is a sahih narration Okay. Again, this is eight Hijra. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was alive. Abu Shah wanted to have it written down, and the Prophet ordered somebody to write it down for him. It's not a zuri after hundreds of years start writing. No. Abu Umayma uh, bin Ijlan he was born 10 years before Hijrah he died eight, he was a, he, he lived very long Al Hasan ibn Jabir as Abu Umayma Ajlan about the recording of of the traditions he approve of it he wrote it down he show it to him he approve of it now abdullah ibn abbas abdullah ibn abbas was a cousin of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was known for a keen very keen he was a very keen mind he loved knowledge when the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away 
he relentlessly, he continuously seeking knowledge. He devoted all his life for collecting and learning uh, the Messenger And he wrote down. He is one of those who have written down narrations over narrations over narrations. Whatever he had, he wrote it down. He has somebody with him writing down for him as well. He used to sit, radiallahu ta'ala anhu ardwa, ibn Abbas, outside the doors of the companions. They, they, he will be going to the house of the companions, but he will not go inside. He will wait outside in a very hot, windy weather. And when the companions come out and they saw him, they will say, oh, cousin of the Messenger Sallallahu what, Alaihi Wasallam, what is this? If you had asked me, we would have come to you. He said, no, I must come to you. I am seeking knowledge. Knowledge does not come to me. I have to go to the knowledge. And, and this is Ibn Abbas. He spent one companions to another companions, to another companions, another companions. Maybe he spent 30 companions in, 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 a, in a day or two to, to, to go around and, and collect knowledge, seek knowledge. Like I said, he has written down everything that he heard from the companions and he has somebody with him and that person is writing down as well. How does he teach? It's very interesting. His lectures cover most of the knowledge, the subject of those, day, those days. It seems that he fixed certain days for certain subjects. Abn Abbas fixed certain days for certain subjects. For example, one day for law, okay? The next day for the Quran, the next day for another thing, and so on and so forth. And then when Hajj time comes and his, his, his students will, will be, they are, they are much higher. And of course, he is the Quran. He is the most knowledgeable in the Quran. So lots of students study from him, the Quran. And of course, there is another accusation, fake news, fake information, that giving an impression that he doesn't like writing. On the other hand, there are statements encouraging the recording. If he bear in mind his, his activities, then it's all very clear that if he doesn't like writing, how could he write and somebody else with him to write down to make sure that he doesn't miss anything? And he does have a copy of a legal judgment of Ali radiallahu ta'ala and wardwa. He copied, he copied that. When he get older, he, his eyes were weak, he couldn't read. And they were given to Quraib. And then to Musa, Ibn Uqba had them. So the following derived hadith of a, in a written form. Ali bin Abdullah ibn Abbas. Okay, from Ali, from Abdullah ibn Abbas, Amir bin Dinar, Al-Hakim, Al-Abu Mulaika, Ikrima. Ikrima, he transmitted the commentary or, 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 or tafsir or, or commentary of the Quran as well. Quraib, Mujahid. Mujahid is one of the students as well. 